really, really, really hard to become a perfumer. We're talking like one of the most competitive jobs at the fragrance house. Not everyone can make it. It is very much reserved for if you've been in a family of fragrance and you were exposed and have been training your nose for decades and it takes decades. The perfumers in the fragrance industry are much more like rock stars. They're actually quite famous. They are given levels of clout, the art of perfume making. It's really just so historical and cultural and the French have historically led the way. Do fragrances have like a where it's made? Well, they have where it's made in the sense of which factory. There's basically four to five major fragrance houses. The one, for example, I used to intern at no longer exists because it got bought up by a bigger house. But there's really three. And I worked for one of the top three fragrance houses in the world back when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> the year I met Christina nine years ago, I worked at IFF, International Flavors and Fragrances. It's a global company. They have like a whole host of perfumers. The fragrance industry is not all that different in that these manufacturers produce oil. Wow, that's so interesting.